Hello, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you one interesting feature in Looker Studio. So, let's say that we would like to analyze our data without adding any charts. So, instead of adding a new page and then adding some charts, then filters, and then after that analyzing this data, instead of that, we have one option to do that instead. If I go to Looker Studio icon, if I click on create, first option is report. Basically, that's the main option that we have. We can also create data source. And third option is Explorer. Basically, that is Data Explorer. That is new option in Looker Studio. So let's click on that one. And now we have ability to add some data source. Basically, we can also use our existing data source. But in this case, I'm going to create new one. So let's use, for example, this YouTube data. And here we have some information. First, we can see table in front of us. This is the chart that is already chosen but we can also choose different one. As you can see, we have a lot of options, but in this case, we will be using table. Here, we have something similar that we have in Looker Studio. We can provide dimension and then metric. For dimension, we have US state code. And then we have watch time. So average watch time for each of these states. Now let's see what other information we have in this data source. Let's provide also this country code to see what we have there. As you can see, we have several countries, not only United States. So let's say that we would like to see only United States. How can we do that? We can go to country code, drag it here. And then instead of all countries, we can pick only US. So let's click on that, apply, and then we will be able to see only US countries. Also, if I go to date, if I place it here, I will be able to choose specific date range. For example, first, to 31st December and basically we have this information for December. So basically this data explorer is a very interesting feature. Basically based on that you can analyze data very easily. And what is also important, if you click on this save button, you will be able to save it to your dashboard. You have also this option to share this. I'm not going to use that one for now. If I click on this, there is some bug in Looker Studio for now because this is only beta version. But basically you will be able to save this to existing dashboard or to copy that. So if I click on this, as you can see, these components are copied. And then we can paste it to our dashboard itself. Okay, with this I'm going to conclude this lesson. Thank you for watching.